relies on the sun for vital energy that sustains life. Plants, oceans, and climate systems are intricately linked to the sun's functioning. Any disruption in the sun's normal activity can have profound consequences. NASA recently disclosed the approach of a substantial solar storm, raising concerns that it could potentially impact humanity on a significant scale, akin to a reset button. Ice weather or solar storms are caused by perturbations in the sun, which are most likely to originate in the corona, the sun's outermost layer. Abrupt and strong bursts of radiation are the main cause of these occurrences, which are principally caused by the sun's magnetic activity. The solar storm phenomenon is linked to the abrupt discharge of magnetic energy that has accumulated within the solar atmosphere. These energy bursts have the potential to be the same as millions of hydrogen bombs going off at once. When billions of tons of solar material are propelled into space at speeds of millions of miles per hour, they appear as coronal mass ejections, which are gigantic eruptions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona. Even though these storms are powerful, they are usually predictable. The sun gives off signals that are closely monitored with telescopes on Earth before the major solar occurrences. Utilizing certain filters, these telescopes can safely see the sun and take pictures in visible ultraviolet and X-ray wavelength. Satellites and observatories, including Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, Solar Dynamics Observatory, and Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory are always keeping an eye on the sun. The study of solar flares, coronal mass ejections, times, and other solar activities made easier by their ability to provide high-resolution images and data at several wavelengths. An alternative method is to employ sound waves to generate surface vibrations to be studied in order to analyze the sun's inside and anticipate its future behavior. Furthermore, equipment monitor the magnetic field intensity and structure of the sun. Variations in these parameters suggest the possibility of solar flares or CMS. Models utilizing observations and data play a crucial role in predicting the speed, direction, and potential impact of coronal mass ejections heading towards Earth. This enables us to understand the situation and prepare for potential solar storms. Organizations like NASA and NOAA uh, operate space weather monitoring centers with the Space Weather Prediction Center, sets the USP, collecting data from various sources and issuing forecasts, alerts, and warnings. Despite having comprehensive data and monitoring centers, our understanding of the real evolution of solar storms has significantly improved in the past two decades. NASA's Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory's set mission, consisting of two strategically positioned spacecraft, the ECOA and Stereo B, in orbit around the sun, provided a unique three-dimensional view of solar activity. Stereo, uh, positioned ahead of Earth in its solar orbit, had a vantage point that allowed it to observe a notable coronal mass ejection erupting from the sun. Stereo's prime position facilitated the monitoring of the CMA's evolution and tracking its trajectory towards Earth. The spacecraft captured a video illustrating the CMA's journey, showcasing its interaction with solar wind particles and its transformation into a towering wall of plasma as it traveled towards our planet. Scientists gained valuable insights into the dynamics and evolution of coronal mass ejections by closely observing their movement and speed. This observational precision enabled accurate predictions of CMI arrival times at Earth, providing crucial advanced knowledge for space and weather forecasting. The ability to analyze the brightness of CMAs in videos allowed researchers to estimate their mass, contributing to a better understanding of the energy and potential impact on Earth's magnetosphere. Despite these advancements, tracking CMAs presents significant challenges. While they are intensely bright upon eruption from the sun, their luminosity rapidly diminishes as they travel through space. By the time they approach the orbit of Venus, they become exceptionally faint. Scientists have developed a method to detect active regions beneath the solar surface before sunspots erupt, providing a day or two of advance notice for insight into solar activity. This has proven crucial as the sun is currently undergoing a significant event. Sunspot counts have surged, potentially increasing by tenfold within a week. These dark areas on the sun's surface linked to intense magnetic activity are unusually active. The heightened solar activity is posing a threat to Earth with multiple daily coronal mass ejections, releasing vast amounts of plasma and magnetic fields into space. NASA's model suggests that one of these CMS may intersect with Earth in the upcoming days. Preliminary estimations suggest a potential collision between a coronal mass ejection and Earth's magnetic field an atmosphere in the last week of November, 
Scientists are currently conducting detailed analyses of COMA trajectories to confirm this possibility. The concern arises from the fact that even if CME particles reach Earth's atmosphere, they can induce geomagnetic storms. Geomagnetic storms are disruptions in Earth's magnetic field caused by solar eruptions, particularly the MMS. These storms occur when solar material carrying its own magnetic field interacts with Earth's magnetic field. The intensity of these storms, categorized on the NOAA scale from G1 to G5, extreme, depends on the power and orientation of the CME. The frequency of geomagnetic storms varies across the solar cycle, typically around 11 years. Minor G1 storms may occur approximately 1,700 times per solar cycle, while more powerful G4 storms are less frequent at around 100 times. The extreme G5 storms are the rarest, occurring approximately four times per solar cycle. Each category of storm affects Earth differently. Minor storms may cause weak fluctuations in Earth's magnetic field, leading to minor effects such as power grid fluctuations, minor disturbances in satellite operations, and auroras at higher latitudes. Extreme storms can have significant impacts intensifying and creating auroras visible at lower latitudes. During calm periods, charged particles tend to circulate along magnetic field lines, primarily concentrated around the polar regions, creating auroras. However, when CM triggers, a geomagnetic storm increased intensity pushes these particles deeper into Earth's atmosphere. This results in brighter, more vivid auroras visible at latitudes further from the poles of auroras, geomagnetic storms, especially of higher intensity, can have severe impacts on critical infrastructures and systems. Geomagnetically induced currents during these storms can affect power grids, causing fluctuations and outages. High frequency radio and radar systems may experience disruptions, leading to radio blackouts and degraded communication capabilities. Satellites in orbit can face increased surface charging, impacting onboard electronics and operations, potentially resulting in malfunctions or failure. Furthermore, the swelling of Earth's atmosphere during intense storms causes increased drag on satellites in low Earth orbit, complicating satellite management and tracking and raising the risk of collisions. The cumulative effects of these disruptions could have widespread consequences, impacting global movements and potentially leading to accidents. The possibility of a complete blackout during such events raises concerns about the halt of worldwide activities and the potential for catastrophic accidents. Will this storm pass without causing significant damage? Or are we facing a scenario where the consequences could be severe? Your thoughts and opinions are welcome in the comments below. If you found this information valuable, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content like this.